Nope, oh, there's one right there. Better fish on. Oh man. Oh boy. That's a good one. That's a good one. What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel here. It is a nice brisk November day. It's almost December and I got a phone call yesterday to come out and fish for some big fish today. Hopefully I can break my PB and get into the 20s of the species that we're going to try to target today. You see the railroad bridge right behind me. I've been here before. We've got your from Fishy Angler out here, he decided to say, hey Dan, let's go ahead and try to go for those big kitties out here on the mighty Susquehanna out at Haver de Grace. One cool thing about this spot right now is we used to have to ride all the way over there to here, but now the boat ramp, there's a brand new one built right here. We're like two seconds away from this bridge. We're in about maybe almost 50 feet of water. And what was crazy, before we even turned on the cameras, we were sitting there trying to fish for some uh, uh, some bait we can cut up to go ahead and use for the kitties and everything else and somehow I landed a five pound catfish on a tiny piece of worm on my light tackle <laughs> but we got a nice little picture I'll pop it up here so you guys can see it here but you and I man we're getting ready to go I've never caught a 20 pound catfish ever in my whole life 13 pounds I think is my PB that I got with Kyle so Kyle for watching man stay tuned let's see if we can try to get a big one on the end of the line we got our big goop of liver that's on the end right here on our uh, 6 aught circle hook by Gamagatsu. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use, uh, it's kind of stretchy line. I don't know if you guys have been out in the bay before and you're using your clam. And you kind of got this string that goes around here. So I'm going to kind of wrap that around there a few times to try to keep that liver on there longer. Uh, so we don't go through the bait as fast. But that is uh, what we got uh, the bigger catfish on the last time we were out here. It was almost about 10 pounds. But uh, yours already had hits already uh, as I'm trying to set myself up here. So we're going to drop down and double the pleasure hopefully. <laughs> It's actually very, very nice out here. You guys can see it's kind of almost a level plain out here. And uh, we barely got a whisper of wind. We had a small little breeze when we first got here, but once that sun started rising up, uh, it kind of warmed up a little bit. So it's, it's quite tolerable out here. While we're waiting for our bite, uh, the setup is nothing spectacular. Uh, the only uh, decent thing I got going on right here is the reel itself right here. We got a Daiwa BG4500 uh, that is attached to a eight foot spear. That's by Tsunami. This is your run of the mill Walmart catfishing rod that we have right here. 65 pound braid down to about a uh, maybe about foot and a half to two foot long leader. That's 30 uh, pound test uh, with a six aught Gamagatsu hook that's on there, and of course the chicken liver right on the end. Uh, with three ounces of weight that's down there to keep things on the bottom. Uh, we have a slight little current that's going on right now, but that's not going to deter us. I mean, we got enough weight depending on whatever the uh, current uh, is at the present moment. But we are definitely sitting on a quiet time right now. Nope, there we go. We got a hit right here, folks. Mm, that was a big hit, too. We're going to go ahead and near that bridge support right there. We're getting small little bites right here. But we're going to hope that the uh, fish are kind of hiding behind this current right here. It looks like the chicken liver's hanging on there pretty firmly. What is the depth now, 40? 40 feet. Let's go ahead and drop. Something there. Down she goes. Thank goodness for spot lock. <laughs> mm -hmm. Whoa, there you go, instantly. Whoa. There you go, fish one. As soon as we get here, two seconds. That's a nice one, too. Oh, wow, she's digging. Whoa. All right, man, that was awesome. <laughs> there you go. Whoa, there you go. Nice little kitty. <laughs> no. Nope. All right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We literally got hit instantaneously. <laughs> There you go, folks. Let's get this over here so we can get a gander for Euro there. Nice <laughs> what a pretty kitty. Get some more. Yeah, hopefully. Man, hey, there's a lot of shower going on in that fish. He's <laughs> mad. <laughs> pretty, pretty kitty. There she goes. 
we're not surprised we got a fish right there because again less current means those fish can sit right there and kind of wait on the uh, outskirts of the current and try to ambush whatever baits coming across them come on your your turn there right, you go oh my goodness gracious got him oh he's on you're is on yours got one on nice <laughs> I thought he missed him for a second because it got yeah. loose. Yeah. All right. Good job. No skunk. Oh, I got a bite too. Might be doubling up here. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Kitty kitty. <laughs> kitty, kitty. Nice job, Yura. There you go. You got pliers up there already? Right, and I like these kitty sizes. <laughs> nice size, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, nice cat. Boom, she's gone. We're on them now. <laughs> In a deeper water. All right. It's, oh, look at that hit. Yeah. Wow. I saw that. Yeah, oh, oh, no, he snapped me off. off. That was a big one, man. That was a big one. Wow. That was definitely bigger than the ones we caught. I think I, uh, Lost this. What did I lose? Oh, you lost the coop, man. The whole thing. Dang. You lost the hook. It's a bad knot. <laughs> bad knot man. All right, we got to retie another one on. Uh, you know what? It's my snow got pulled out. That's what it was. Wow, that that was big, bud. Definitely bigger. Got chicken liver snot all over my hands here. Got slime all over my jacket right here from the catfish. Oh, there's a hit right there. There you go. Small. Whoa, whoa. Oh, Lord. It's going to the back of the boat. <laughs> all right, come on, baby. Nice. Oh man, he is digging hard. There you go. <laughs> man, as soon as I dropped it. A little smaller than the others. <laughs> there you go. I go around. There she goes. There you go, fish on. Timed them right there. <laughs> That's a decent one. That's a decent one. <laughs> Little tyke. <laughs> that one's a channel cat right there. Right? Are you sure? Okay. It is really weird. <laughs> I'm believing you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That thing was barely, barely hitting the line there. But off she goes. Oh, see that? She almost did a porpoise action there. Having a good day today with the kitty cats. Get another small one. Small ones here, so we may, we may probably may have to move, huh? We probably would need to move. There's a bunch of small ones. But that's a good way to use up the tiny little bit of a 
chicken liver was on the end of the line there rather than putting a whole another huge big piece on there I just got gouged oh still got it there <laughs> there you go off she goes yeah it got me good right there so yeah uh, he spiked me you're is on Come on, buddy, get that little kitty up. <laughs> well, a bit bigger than the, the previous one. <laughs> one a bit bigger, but it's not giant either. 50 Look at that. Come on now. It's coming soon. There you go. It's a decent one. <laughs> Good job, Yara. It took a while for us to get a fish in this section. <laughs> uh, three, about three pounder. Good job, bud. Oh. We got a couple small kitties in this section right here. So uh, Euro's going to go to the deeper water. I mean, we are still deep water here. It's 53 feet. It got a, almost to 60 feet, but we're going to go over to the 70 foot range uh, over this way here. And hopefully the bigger catfish are over in that deeper section. If not, we're going to go back where we had the success on the bigger catfish on the uh, other one of these uh, structures right here that are holding up the railroad tracks. As we're passing here, you can see that the tide is way down right now, about three or four foot. Uh, we have an outgoing tide that's going on right now. so. That seems like the best tide to, to catch these fish right now because we're having a lot of luck on it. But we're going to pass our way over here and uh, get to that deeper water as we mentioned. But right now we're only on 42 feet, but right where these guys are at, ahead of us, I'm sure they're out in there in that 70 foot range, We're going to, or at least in the 60, 70 foot range, we're going to try to be in. There you go. Fish on. Fish on. There you go. Come on, baby. Oh, he just came off. A little stinker. <laughs> Dang it. So mad I missed that one. <laughs> oh, boy. There you go. He chased it. Oh boy. Oh, he's a fighting me. He's a fighting me. <laughs> man. Savage. Oh man, he is really digging down. He doesn't want to come up. Come up and he's like a pound. <laughs> there you go. That's a nice one. That definitely looks like the biggest one of the day. Good looking cat, good looking cat. <laughs> I think that's the biggest one, folks, of the day. Really nice looking cat. Show this bugger off. She's trying to curl up, man. I'm gonna get my hands up underneath the uh, fins here. Trying to fight me. He's trying to fight me. There we go. <laughs> Little clown. Beautiful, beautiful kitty cat right there. And I bet you my pliers are on the floor. Don't you dare. Look at all the slime all over me here. Where are my pliers at? Wow, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> These catfish are making some weird noises today. All right, that one weighs five pounds, three ounces. Not too bad. Off she goes. Thank you, Yura. I'm having a good day. We're gonna head our way right over here to the structure right here. We're gonna come off the deep part. We wanted to catch at least one fish in that area, but we're gonna try to see if we can catch some fish behind that structure right there. If not, we're gonna go back to originally where we started from, down over here where we got that nice action going on. 
uh, as we started out the episode. But thankfully, like I said, we don't have to travel too far. The ramp is literally right there. So let's see if we can try to end this thing out with a bang with maybe a 20 pounder or if at least a double digit fish. That would be good to kind of cap things out. At least double digit. <laughs> right? <laughs> My camera died at the wrong time, but uh, you're finally got onto a nice uh, kitty here. This is as big as the day it looks like. But it's got a big old fat belly, man. Look at that thing. <laughs> there you go. Got him? Nah. Uh. <laughs> Ooh. Fish on. <laughs> Dag on it. <laughs> as soon as I lifted it. <laughs> Yours on. Good job, buddy. Good job, Yara, man. Get him. You see, another, oh, he came off. Another time. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Yours on. Get him, Yara. Come on. Third time's a charm. Oh no! <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. So just like earlier in the day today, we're not seeing our rods being hit. I haven't had anything going on, but Yura has. But as we're lifting, that's when the fish are hitting here on this slack tide right now. Uh, they're not wanting to go ahead and slam for whatever reason right now while it's sitting on the bottom. But poor Yara's missed three fish because he's trying to get the camera running as he's holding the rod up. And just that little bit of slack he lets go off of, boom, fish is gone. There's a pool right there. There you go. Oh, man, that was a big hit. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> Dad, gone. That was solid. <laughs> It was ever so slightly that uh, bob right there on the uh, rod there. Let's see if we still got our bait. We do. That's four fish we missed. <laughs> Somebody's going to get it. Oh, there's a bite. Come on, you're. Make it count. Yeah, he's definitely going to bite. Fish on. He was already there. <laughs> He's got that one. He was already there. <laughs> Great job, Yara. You Said enough of messing with that camera. <laughs> it's not big though. Stole a fish. Oh, oh no, it stop. Right the stop. Oh. <laughs> Nope, oh, there's one right there. And a fish on. Oh man. Oh boy. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh. Wow. Stay on there. Stay on there. Nice. <laughs> I don't want this thing to get off, man. Wow. That was a solid hit. Oh my god. Oh man, man, that thing is fighting. He's swirling. I think I got him wrapped. That's probably why he's acting away. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh. Here's the net, buddy. Oh my goodness gracious, guys. Oh my god. Watch your eye. Watch your eye. Finally, There we go, man. We gotta bring it up. Wow! Oh, oh my God! Kim, you're a! Oh my God! It's a giant! It's a giant! <laughs> yes! It's a giant! That's what we Oh my God! Definitely eclipsed. <laughs> my here is fish your, here. Here is your PB. All right, I'm just gonna cut. I'm gonna cut the line here, bud.
Oh, wow. <laughs> why, why, do <laughs> why do we need to cut the line? I was, uh, well. We can get him. Yeah. No problem, because the hook is right wow, here. Wow, that thing is giant. Uh, right here, buddy, right here. Holy crap. There you go. Uh, let's keep him in the scale and weigh him, buddy. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, use yours, because it'll probably yep. be easier. Mm -hmm. Wow, my God. That's the fish that we came for. <laughs> oh, crap. All right. Wow, gosh darn. Holy crap. <laughs> Look at this donkey. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. She's picking around. A giant, a giant, giant, giant. Oh, man. man, he is giving your a time. It says seven pounds. You got to put it back down, bud. It says seven pounds, 50. Yeah. It's not seven Wait. pounds. Yeah. Hold on. We're trying to get a weight here. Bear with us, guys. We had the wrong setting. We had it in kilograms. He's got it on pounds right now, so we're going to lift it back up. But I caught an absolute behemoth in my book. We've been waiting all day long for this. 20 pounds, two ounces. There you go. There you go. You a 20, 20 pounder. Pound. 20 nice. Pound. I got my 20 pounder today. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> all right, Yura. Well, like this. All right, Yura's going to go ahead and uh, give a nice release to this behemoth <laughs> of a catfish. <laughs> Absolute insanity. Wow, what a great send off. What a great send off. <laughs> what an epic ending to this video right here, man. I obliterated my PB. I had a 13 pounder, which is what I got earlier in the year. We had a goal of hitting a double digit, but we wanted a 20 pounder today. And at the end of the day, boom. I smashed one. <laughs> I mean, that is the hardest fighting fish I've ever had on the end of my line out of fresh water. My goodness gracious, guys. I mean, I tried to grab him in his mouth and he tried to thrash me like an alligator, man. But uh, we got the weight on it. It's 20 pounds, two ounces. Hopefully you heard that a little bit earlier today. But we got a lot of quality uh, catfish on the end of the line. I think we got at least five, six, five pounders on the end of the line. We got some dinks along the way. And of course, we had a lot of swings and misses by Yura. <laughs> You know, on this camera, man, and he's been trying to, so hard because he's got the uh, the 360 degree camera here. He's been trying to work out, but uh, I'm sure he'll get it all taken care of, man. But uh, I'm thrilled, guys. I mean, I, my heart's still pounding by that fish coming up at the top of the surface. And how fitting was it to go slowly down into the water like that in an epic motion, man? But Yura, thank you very much, man. I am so happy. I'm glad you called me, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cherish this one because that's a that was a great hit, man. No joke, guys. I hope you liked that video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell to be informed of all of our future episodes. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about it. Of course, follow us on Instagram at 302fishing. As usual, at the end, on my right-hand side, we got a video for you to look at. And, of course, you go on our playlist each and every time. Please make sure you subscribe to uh, Fishy Angler. That's Euro right here. Uh, he's a great fisherman just like I am. And uh, we're going to keep bringing some great episodes out to you, man. So I'm going to let my adrenaline calm down and straighten out the boat you're still fishing to the bitter end man so uh, you guys have a great day and i hope to get to see you next weekend